Hello and welcome to Mr. Tompkins EdTech. Today we are looking at Microsoft Teams, the communication and collaboration platform now included in Office 365, and particularly how it can be used to set up a class group or staff team within your school or college. Now within education, Teams can be used to set up a class group, uh, allowing teachers to communicate and share resources with their students, or you could also make use of it to work with or share resources with your departmental colleagues, your year team or any other team structure your school or college makes use of. In addition to the normal collaboration tools aimed at business, like chat, communal team, storage space, and a whole host of additional social media plugins, Teams has recently had some educational specific tools added to it from the now de deprecated Microsoft Classrooms. This includes an assignment tool, allowing teachers to set, distribute, and collect in homework tasks, and also to mark and feedback these uh, all from within the Teams interface. The other education specific tool that's been added into Teams is the class notebook creation tool. The original standalone tool is still available, but the one now included in Teams is more feature rich and is much easier to use, and I would definitely recommend using it over the older tool. Now, assuming your Office 365 Tenancy Administrator has enabled Teams, you will find a link to it in the app launcher under the waffle. So up here, you can normally found on, on the top left hand uh, corner of most Office 365 web apps. So if I tap on here and open up, you'll see all the different web apps available. Scrolling down, there's the team app there. Clicking on this will take you to the rather lovely blue purplish Microsoft Teams interface. Now down the left hand side, you'll see uh, six tabs to choose between and I'm going to be focusing on the Teams tab today uh, as I want to show you how to create a new team. You can see I already have a number of teams created for each of my teaching groups. Actually these groups have been generated from our school timetable stored in our information management system and it's kept synced using a third party tool that makes use of Microsoft School Data Sync which I'll talk about in a future video. But today I'm going to be creating a new team by hand for our math department so we can share lesson resources and also swap sections of our class notebooks with each other. I first need to press the Add Teams button, which you'll find at the bottom of this list, followed by this Create Team button here. I'm then offered a choice of four types of teams. Your choice will lead to some variation in the tools added to your team and how the class notebook is created. So the classes option is the best choice for working with your students, but I'm going to be choosing the staff members for this particular team. I haven't yet used the PLC type. My understanding that this is used for, uh, for creating teams to work with educators from different, um, different schools. Um, I think if you wanted to make use of this, you'd need to make sure your tenancy administrator would enable external users for this to work. I haven't, as I say, I haven't tested it, but uh, you might want to give it a try. So let's click on staff members. I can now name my team and give it a description. So this one is for the maths teachers, so I'm going to call it uh, mathematics Te teachers. And I can actually give it a description as well. I can also choose whether the team is private, which would make it invite only, or public, which would allow anyone from the organisation to join in. For my departmental group, I'd like to keep things private. We can't have those pesky English teachers butting into our mathematical business. So I'm going to choose private and click next. Right, so the next screen allows us to build the actual team. You can add members individually by name, or you can include pre-existing distribution groups from any Outlook Exchange distribution group or any Office 365 group that you've already created. So I'm gonna add teachers of mathematics, which has already been set up as a distribution group. And I might add some individual named teachers Go. A couple of 
the name teachers as well. So I'm just going to add those in. And click close. And that's it, we're done. You can see that the staff members created a conversations tab, which we can use for departmental gossip, I suppose. There's a file section, which is like a communal OneDrive where you can upload files and everybody in the, in the team has access. There is a staff notebook, which is a OneNote type notebook that everybody in the team has access to and can contribute to. Uh, now this is a very useful tool and I think I would like to do a whole video on this as it's uh, it's worthy to talk about in its own right. Now to actually use it you need to follow through this setup routine but as I say we'll talk about that in another video. Finally you've got a whole bunch of extra uh, tools that you can add in. Now, I haven't tried many of these yet but there's quite a few here that you can try and perhaps you have or you're using some of these applications and you can think about a reason why you might want to include them in your team. Uh, the only ones I've particularly used so far are probably the streams one and the YouTube one, uh, but there's plenty there for you to, to, to work through and see if they're any good for you. So our team is now made and all ready to use, but before we wrap up, I just wanted to show you that the new team also shows up in Outlook and other areas of Office 365. So we're back in the mail client here, and if I scroll down to the group section at the bottom, you'll see that we now have a group called Mathematics Teachers appearing here. If I click on it, uh, then the new Teams group is beginning to be um, integrated into Outlook. So I can see a Conversations tab, Files, Calendar, and Notebook. Now I'm pretty sure, uh, I know that the Notebook one links into the class notebook created in Teams, but weirdly the conversations seems to be a whole separate thread uh, and the conversations you have within Outlook don't match up with the conversations currently that are in Teams. I wonder whether this is by design or whether they're still working on integrating these features. Um, Teams along with other uh, parts of Office 365 is in very active development and both big changes and little tweaks seems to come, up, come along all the time. So perhaps it's something that they're working on and be released soon. But at the moment, as I say, the conversations thread in Outlook and in Teams are two separate things from a teaching perspective. Uh, that's not too great, but uh, perhaps it will change soon. So that's all for this video. You should now know how to navigate through Teams and to create a group. So please like if you found this video useful or leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. In future videos, I'll be demonstrating the assignment tool in detail and also the class notebook tool, uh, which I have to say has revolutionized my teaching over the last couple of years. So I think it's definitely worth watching that video. Uh, so please subscribe if you want to be notified of these and future uploads. Thank you for your time and see you next time.